I can't look at her right now. Who is it? Aaron Humphreys, don't make me ask you again. Hi. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. This is Hi. Caleb. Hey. Thanks for joining us today. Let me get that Claire out of there. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yeah. We'll be ready in just a minute. I'm ready. <laughs> she said just a minute. Layer. It's not as bad as you think. Okay, good. That's good. Yeah, it's not. It's not as bad as you think. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, You're good welcome. evening. Yes, good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Title I Parent Annual Parent Meeting. This is our annual um, informational meeting about our Title I status. Reese Road is a Title I school. We, uh, we receive funding, which helps us to um, employ intervention teachers, um, as well as to help with devices that we have and we're able to give to all of our students, as well as the um, internet services for homes who have identified as not having internet. We will give you some annual information and some um, updates on our school improvement plan, as well as our goals for this year. Um, this is going to be a unique year, being that we are virtual. However, we are road runner strong, and we will continue to make great happen here at Reese Road Leadership Academy. <laughs> now, we don't want to keep you long, but we do want to uh, make sure that you have all of the pertinent information as it relates to Title I. So with that being said, I would like to introduce you to our Title I parent coordinator, Ms. Kathy Covington. If you have not met her, you will meet her. Um, and I will give her an opportunity to talk to you this evening prior to our open house. After our Title I um, parent meeting, we will log off of this link so that we can join our um, open house live link for all of the schools. So Ms. Covington, we're on. Hi, thank you all for joining us this evening. Uh, this is our first parent meeting that we're holding tonight. Uh, it is my pleasure to be the uh, serve as the Title I parent coordinator at Reese Road. I'm happy to be with, with you all. Uh, this is an unusual uh, year and unusual territory, unknown that we're training at this time, but we ask that our parents and our families join together and we'll work together to get through this. We are looking for 2021 to be one of the most uh, prosperous, amazing years that we've had here at Reese Road. And with the help of our parents and our families and our teachers and excellent staff, we're looking forward to having a great year. Uh, what we have tonight, uh, we're gonna show a presentation about our annual Title I uh, process. Uh, we're gonna share with you what our, how our monies are spent, how Title one, one monies are spent. We ask that the parents um, help us out with our Title I set-aside surveys. They were in your packets, your registration packets. And if you did not receive one, we will have it posted on our school website. You could go on your website. There's a, um, 
uh, there'll be a link on the website where if you did not uh, get the opportunity to complete that set aside survey, you could do so uh, by going online. All of our parenting forms, all of our parenting information will be broadcast to you at where you could go in on our website. We'll keep, stay updated. We'll keep you updated throughout this school year. Uh, again, we're looking forward to a wonderful year at Reese Road. Uh, we need parents, we need your participation. We need all of us to work together so we can get through this year. Uh, uh, there's, we're, we're, we're facing some unchallenging times, but at Reese Road, we know great happens at Reese Road. So with that, I will not hold you long, but this presentation, and some of you may have already seen it, um, our, it comes down from our uh, Georgia Department of Education. Our uh, specialist program specialist for parenting will explain to you all what, how our Title I monies are used and what Title I is all about. So sit back, enjoy, and stay with us. Thank you, Ms. Long. Oh, okay. who is that? Can you, can you see the screen? I just wanna make sure. I can see the screen. Yes, ma'am. I am the program specialist for Title I for parent and family engagement. I just have just a few, if you don't mind, I'll sit down. I just have a few. Um, Um, Title I is a federal grant and it is not based on academics, but it is a federal grant where the schools uh, receive funds and it is based um, purely on the percentage of free and reduced lunch. So it is not, not based on academics at all. But the programs are funded by Title I and it has two major goals. One goal is to increase student achievement and to increase parent and family engagement, which is what we want to do here at Reese Road, although we have wonderful parents here. Uh, how is Title I money spent at Reese Road Leadership Academy? Well, some of the ways are for staff development, for instructional materials and supplies, to get intervention teachers, pay for academic coaches, and also for uh, additional computers and supplies and resources for our students here at Reese Road, such as tablets and computers and additional books in our media center. How does Reese Road Leadership Academy participate in the Title I program? The amount of Title I funding a school receives is contingent upon, again, I said the free and reduced lunch calculation. So if it's 60% or more free and reduced lunch, that is how we get our calculation to know if a school is a Title I school or not. Which is a great thing because we get lots of funds that help us. Uh, what are the Title I requirements? Some of the requirements are that we have a high quality and ongoing professional development for our teachers and our staff and school-wide reform strategies that help us provide opportunities for our students here at Reese Road Leadership Academy. Um, also, we try to increase activities to ensure that our parents have workshops available for them throughout the school year so that parents can increase their knowledge on things like our smart goals here at our school and also workshops that will help you to help your child academically. Uh, Reese Road has been designated as a school-wide Title I school, so that is our status here. Uh, some of the tests that we will take here at Reese Road, well, one of the main tests is our uh, Georgia Milestone test, our GMAS, and that's in the spring, and it's a more rigorous test that we take. It's not like when I was young in the dinosaur ages where we had just A, B, C, or D for our answers. Now our students have to uh, have open-ended responses. They have to write out their answers. You can't just say two plus two is four. You have to know why two plus two is four. You have to be able to explain your answers in a constructive response. So it's a little more rigorous now than when we were in school parents. What are the requirements for parent and family engagement? Well, one of the main ones is to convene an annual parent meeting, which is what we're doing right now. So we are already fulfilling our responsibilities. Some of the other uh, requirements are to notify parents about state assessments, which we are 
have done and will do. Um, also to notify feedback on those policies. We use you your feedback to revise all of those policies here at Lisa. What is a school parent compact? It is an agreement between the parent and the school, and it basically says that we agree to work together for our children, for the success of our children, for student achievement. So it talks about what the parents will do, what the school will do, and what our students will all do for us to work together to be successful. Um, parent set-aside funds. Parents, you will receive soon a parent set-aside letter, and in that parent set-aside letter, it lets you know that here we have a parent uh, resource room where we keep all of our supplies and our books and things that you can check out for your students. Um, but the things that we buy with that set-aside money is things that the parents designate. So if you check off if you want to see uh, computers here that parents can use here at the school. If you want to see extra math workbooks that you can get from the school, you check off what you want to see and we purchase with what the parents say. So parents, you got the, uh, the funds for set aside. Um, parents like to know. Parents, you've already done that. We did that at the beginning of the school year in your registration packet. And it just lets you know that you have the right to ask um, the school for information um, on staff qualifications. But I know here at Reese Road Leadership Academy, everybody is wonderful and professionally qualified. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Long. <laughs> Opportunities for parent and family engagement. Um, get involved in our workshops, in our PCA or PCO. Uh, sign up as a volunteer here at the school parent. And also, please make sure you read daily with your children because reading at least 15 minutes a day will increase that knowledge and vocabulary. And also, parents, um, if you ever have any concerns, always make sure that you uh, follow the chains of command. We will always respond here at Leadership, at Reese Road Leadership Academy for all of your needs. If you have any questions um, or concerns, um, there are it's a host of information on our school website. There's a host of information on the Georgia Department of Ed website. And you can get to Reese Road's website from the Muskogee County website. If you look on the Georgia Department of Education's website, you will see information about uh, Georgia milestones. So I wouldn't wait till the spring to start preparing our children. There are questions on there that you can look on there if you go to the doe.org, G A D O E.org, and you can go ahead and look at some of the questions that might be on the test. They are similarly set up so that you can look at how the questions work. Um, there's stories on there that you can read with your children and show them how they have to compare and contrast stories. So. That's one good website to go to, and that's the doe.org. Um, if you ever need uh, me, I'm going to give you my phone number. If you have any questions about parent and family engagement or workshop, uh, my name is Beverly Ely, and my number is 706-748-3609. And if you call me and I don't know the answer, I will find out who does. Thank you for your time. God bless. Have a great time. Okay, parents, can you all hear me? Okay, um, I just want to uh, let the parents know that if there's any assistance they need, um, just reach out. You can get in contact with me at Reese Road, and uh, we can provide assistance for your students throughout the school year. Uh, if you have um, challenges or uh, concerns, just give me a call, Miss Kathy Covington at Reese Road. And uh, 
we'll work together to get whatever the parents are in need of. And again, all of our document, all of my forms and documents will be provided and available on our school website. And uh, we really, again, appreciate you joining us for our annual Title I parent meeting. And uh, please stay with us and enjoy our open house. We're looking to have a great year at Reese Road. Okay. We are, and right before we go, we I would like to share with you our school improvement goals for the year because we want you to um, know exactly what our goals are. So by May 2021, 100% of our staff will be trained on the PBIS which is positive behavior intervention and supports classroom modules three and four. Seventy-five percent of our teachers will implement the evidence-based strategies effectively. So this is a surrounding our PBIS um, training that our students will receive, as well as the training that our staff will receive. We will try. We will train one hundred percent of our staff with seventy-five percent implementation. How do I pick up the Chromebook? Our goal number two is by May 2021, 100% of our teachers will implement writing with rigor by utilizing STEM journals and the engineering process in their learning and classroom practices. So our students will be utilizing STEM journals and learning the engineering process um, with 90% fidelity. And then our school-wide goal for our road runners is 100% of our road runners will reach their individualized reading growth goal by May of 2021. So each student will be identified and, and they will be assessed beginning August 17th. We will have individualized assessment so that we know um, where our students are and we can meet them based off of their individualized reading goal and move them um, in their reading growth goal. So those are our school improvement plan goals for the year. So we wanted to share those with you so that you can monitor your progress and you know um, from which we're monitoring and, and uh, progress monitoring our students. Okay. All right. So this evening, this portion of the meeting is strictly for Title I parent information. We will have our open house at six o'clock. So we will log off this Zoom, which was our Title I parent information meeting. We're required by the state of Georgia to host for our parents here because we are a Title I school. At six o'clock, please log into our open house where we will introduce you to your team of teachers. You will get an overview and a welcome from me, your proud principal, as well as our proud assistant principal, our proud board member, and then you will have an opportunity for questions as well as an opportunity to break out into your grade levels. All right, I will see you at six. Thank you all for joining us. Um, I also wanted to mention there's links in the chat for each grade level once we get into the other one. Um, okay. And also, I will put the link to the main, the main, um, My name is Dr. Ah, the main um, Zoom. I can do that right now, so they won't okay. have to keep clicking back and forth. Okay, um, great. Hold so on. So the one. main meeting in this Zoom, great. Yes. Okay. Hold on one second, and I'm gonna get at that for you right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, so though, first we will go to the main one, which is uh, the one that's gonna be at the bottom, and then they will click on their grade level one. I'll put it in the next one too. Okay. 